What's going on, YouTube? Zero Elite here, and I'm back again with a new video. Episode 70 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. I just want to thank you very much for tuning into today's video, and if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And today we've got about a 24-minute video, and we're going to be focusing on the lower hull of our ship, adding our windows, and then also filling in the levels on our neck and then adding windows on the neck. Um, so we're going to jump right into this. Now, there is a reason that I waited up until this point to add windows in, and that's because I didn't want to um, add anything until I knew exactly where uh, all my levels were going to go. So this way I wouldn't be restricted by pre-existing windows or I can add windows based on where I want to put them, if that makes sense. So we're going to go into our first lower engineering, or excuse me, our second lower engineering deck. So we're going through the lower airlock hull and we're going to go a couple of blocks over on third block and we're going to take out four blocks and you can see that I've got a pretty wide angle here for the window. This is actually going to be shaved down to two. Um, I was trying to do like a wider window um, to have something that maybe like mirrored uh, Enterprise A's uh, windows. But as we go forward, um, it just doesn't look right. And uh, I just decided to go with the smaller ones. So this is going to take a little bit of finagling, but we're going to get there. Um, these back two windows that we just added on each side, we're going to get rid of those. We're not even going to have those in the same place. Um, and this ship, it's not going to have a ton of windows on it. And um, that varies ship to ship. Some of them have a lot of windows. Some of them don't. Um, I'm not going to have a ton going through mine just because, again, I just didn't want to be so restricted to having um, or dedicating my wall space just to windows only, especially in the lower hull, because it really feels like on this ship, you know, the lower hull is dedicated to um, engineering. So it really wouldn't make a heck of a lot of sense to have a bunch of windows everywhere um, in engineering. But we're still going to add in a couple just to give them a little bit of love. And then we're going to focus on getting the rest of our levels added in on our neck. Um, we're not really going to do too much details on those levels, but still I would like those levels to be there just in case I want to add anything in the future. Or if there's anything that you'd like to add in there. Uh, plus, not only that, um, again, this will help us line up where we need to add in our windows on our neck as well. So that's going to be a thing also. And... Um, Another thing too, like when you're looking at the outside of the ship in, like if you have anybody that you're showing your ship, you don't want them to be able to look in and see a window and literally just a giant empty gap. So even if like the room isn't fully completed, you still at least want to have flooring on every single level and have them be completed. So that's going to be something that we're going to be doing also later on in this episode. So you can see on the front one, I filled that in. We're going to get rid of this bottom one. And I think that one or too wide is all that we need right there. So we're just going to fill that in. Then we'll get rid of this and just put back what we had before. All right, we're in good shape. Now we've only got one window. We're going to add a couple of more. Uh, and again, this is going to take a little bit of finagling to see where we can fit our windows here. Um, but there, again, you know, there's not going to be a ton of windows, at least on the lower hull. I think we're only going to have like maybe four or five windows down here. And, you know, we'll have some more windows on the neck. And then um, we're going to add in some windows going along the saucer also. So now we've gone a deck down again. You can see where I just cut that out. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that right there, only because of uh, that cut that's right there. And it's not gonna be a clean line. So let's go back up. We're on engineering deck one, now we're on the main deck. Yeah, cause it was like right there on the cut line where I just tried to take that away. So really if we add any windows down here, we're gonna have to do it towards the front of the room. I 
So now I'm in the bottom deck of engineering. And this is actually going to be the only spot on the ship where I've got two windows exactly intersecting one another. I usually don't like to do this only because when you're looking at the ship from the outside in, in this case, you'd technically just be able to see right through to the other side. And like, I don't know why to me, that's just weird. Um, so I didn't really want to necessarily do that here. It might be something that maybe I might go back and move these windows back ever so slightly. But um, for right now, we're just going to leave them as is. And another reason I'm going smaller with my windows, I'm only doing windows too wide, is because um, this is something I haven't talked about since like pretty much like episode one. But one of the ideas behind this ship, the way that I built it, was kind of like how Disney built like Cinderella's castle, like at Universal or not Universal at uh, Disney Orlando. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to the Disney parks, but way they have those, uh, a lot of the structures that are built, it's built off of perspective. So from the ground, it looks very big, but when you actually get closer and go higher up, it gets smaller and smaller. And my ship is actually, you know, it's all the same uh, proportion scale, but by having smaller windows, we can basically make the ship look a little bit bigger than it actually is. You can see where I'm taking out walls here to add my windows and be, just being very cautious and making sure that where I'm adding this, there's no cut or anything going along here. So this way it's a nice clean window. So I'm going to go back over to the other side here. I want to double check my work, see what I have, how I have it lined up, and then we're going to repeat the same process again on this side. Now, on this row here, this is another window that's technically lined up with the other side, but there's a turbo lift right in the middle, so you can't see that other window. So. This is like really like an ideal situation. So this way when you look in, you see a wall instead of being able to just see the other window and all the way through. So um, that's one of the reasons why I might get rid of that. Um, also another thing, like at some point I might actually go back in and just close up these airlocks maybe just to have them close once the ship is completed and we'll make them a different color. But um, I think that's one of the things that's going to make this area right around here just look a little weird for right now because we have these two openings. But even on my other Enterprise, um, I usually go in through the airlocks and I just close them up and I'll open them back up again. So it's not really that big of a deal. So our windows down here are looking pretty good. We need some more, like, just like a couple more windows, like maybe like around here. Um, maybe like three or four more windows. And to be honest with you, I think we could probably get away with calling it a day just like in this section right here. And then we can move on in the neck to add a couple of more. Because, I mean, um, Enterprise never had on the lower hull, did not have a ton of windows. Um, this version of, or at least my version, is not going to have nearly as many as what was seen in the show. And again, you know, that's just because it doesn't make much sense to have a ton of windows on an engineering deck. Because you would think that would be an area that you would want well armored, is what I'm kind of what I'm getting at, too. It doesn't seem very practical. So now uh, we're moving along here into a different part of the tutorial. We're up in the neck. You can see I'm going to every single turbo lift door level and we're just going to add in our levels and it's a little dark in here in just a moment i'm going to add in some sea lanterns to give us some light and we're going to do this going all the way up and then we're going to open up the back side of uh, the turbo lifts on each level too so this way we can access both sides of it to add our windows
Now, uh, up in the neck here will definitely be an area where it's going to be important not to double up and have your windows in the exact same spot on both sides. Because especially on the neck here, it's going to look very weird because the width in between these two walls, like there's not a heck of a lot of room. Like you can see, I just barely fit the turbo lift in here. And we literally have to walk through the turbo lift to access each side of it. And there's just no way around it other than making the neck ridiculously big. And in, in order to do that, I would have had to scale the ship up a lot more. And I didn't want to do that again because I didn't want to have a ton of empty rooms and levels that were never going to be filled in because there's just not enough shown on the ship to, to reference off of. So we're just going to make do with what we have. But I think this is going to come out really good. Because the whole goal here is to try to make the most complete enterprise that we possibly can as detailed as possible without just having a bunch of random crap all over the place. Because it's not a knock to other builders when I see them do it. But because, I mean, they run into the same problem that I've run into in the past. And it's just... There's only so much of the reference material that you can find. And, I mean, they'll do it anyway, and they'll just build the ship out exactly what to, to what the blueprints were. And it's just like, you know, it looks cool, but it's like you've literally got deck upon deck of empty rooms. You know? Like, where's all the detail and all that? And it's just kind of like a little bit of a waste of time to do it to that level. I mean, and to each his own, some people might still say, oh, you know, I want to do it like that. And if that's what you want to do, hey, that's cool too. But, um, and I'm not saying, you know, what I have going on here is the right way to do it. This is just, was just a way for, for me to get on here and have a little bit of fun and do it in a way that kind of just made a little bit more sense to me. But um, it's worked for pretty much every single ship that I've done with the interior. They've come out pretty good. This, but this one, this is my favorite. I think out of all the ships that I've done so far, um, the Disco Enterprise, the interior on it came out the best. But this uh, build also has, uh, I would say, an advantage at the same time of being a most recent build. Because even on the interior on my 2000, or not the 2009, but the Star Trek Beyond Enterprise, even that, I mean, that's going back a couple of years at this point. So, you know, I've done other builds since then and kind of learned, I like to think, a better building technique as far as how I approach this and how I, uh, in the order that I build things. I think it comes out really nice. This was a nice little touch here, adding the red pillars on each side this way to simulate that there's an automatic door on both sides again that's just falling into attention to detail those little details there definitely going to help make your ship just stand out just a little bit more you know just again think of it like may not those by themselves it's not going to do much but when you start combining all these different components that's where your ship really starts to come to life and we're in the dark. So we got to add in a little bit of lighting in here. You see that we really haven't done anything in our neck here. And even on my Enterprise A, um, I had tried to fill in the room uh, rooms for the neck, but um, pretty much all it ended up turning into was just a bunch of rooms with uh, tables and chairs in them. Because they're really, you know, there's just not really anything to go off of. I think uh, the only time that you really see anything in the neck on the movies or show was when um, in what was it? Uh, the Wrath of Khan when they were in the torpedo room or maybe that was a search of Spock. I know it was one of those. And then also the Undiscovered Country. They were in the uh, uh, torpedo room again. And that's like was right at the base of the neck. Other than that, I can't really think of any other times that they went in there and there was like a room specific to that area. But if there is, and I'm sure that there probably is, but if there is, be sure to drop a comment below. I'm definitely interested in hearing that. Um, if there's any extra stuff that I can add for this ship, because, you know, I'm always looking for new content that I could possibly add for this build while I'm still working on it. 
Um, a lot of the suggestions that I've got, uh, that I've gotten so far, believe it or not, I may not have been able to incorporate every single idea, uh, but I do listen, I do see all the comments, and I do try to incorporate most of them, if not as many of them as I can, that I think is a good idea um, that I can add into the build. And, you know, uh, some of the stuff that I've added, like this little, I had a couple of suggestions on little nuances on the details on the outside. You know, I did some stuff there. The um, ship brig, that was something that I added. That was a specific request. Uh, the arbitrarium. That's a, or the AKA the greenhouse. That was another request that I had because somebody pointed out that that was in the show um, and I was able to find it. So, you know, you never know if there's something that's in this area of the ship that I'm missing, be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what I missed. So this way I can go back and maybe fill that in in our quest of having the most detailed enterprise that's out there. I don't know if this will be the best. I'm not an arrogant person, so I would never dare say that my build is the best, but I can say that I have the goal of trying to make this the most detailed build that anybody could possibly do for an interior, because we're going to have everything. By the time I'm done with this, that's at least my goal. And I think that we're well on our way of being there. I don't know how many episodes this is going to go out to. I'm trying to keep this as short as I can. As you can see, some of my videos, I've been keeping them pretty much at I mean, for the longest time now, at a minimum of like 20 minutes, just so I can get as much um, recording time as I possibly can out there. Because, you know, this thing, I mean, it just it takes time to do. And, you know, people that have been asking me in the past how long it can take to build a ship like this. Now you're actually, you know, getting an opportunity to see it firsthand. I'm still not done with it. And we're already on episode 70. But we have made a significant uh, or gotten a significant amount of work done, there's just still some rooms to fill in on uh, the saucer section. But we'll definitely get there. And uh, I think that uh, we're making steady progress here. You can see I'm just going deck to deck now in the neck, making sure that... Um, I have uh, each of these decks filled in correctly, and I have the right amount of room. And you can see I'm very cautiously removing these blocks here because I believe if I go up, see, and this is as far back as I can go. So we may not even open this side up. Definitely going to put those blocks back, at least that one. But this is as far back as we can go. So that space back there. Um, I think for now we're just going to close it up because, I mean, there's no really uh, purpose to use for it at this time. I'm going to swap that out with the red concrete, do three high. This way, again, to simulate the, uh, the opening doors. And I could have maybe added a window there. And I might actually end up coming back to this room here. And I might end up doing something like that. I'm not sure. But um, I can tell you that some of these windows are not set in stone. I may, uh, I'm may i probably going to circle back around to them at some point or another before this build is over. And probably make one last change to them. But I think we've got a pretty good idea of where a lot of that is going to go. Um, and where I'm adding my windows, you don't have to add them exactly the same space, uh, same spots that I am. If there's other places that you want to add them, you know, just you know, be careful how are you doing it, and uh, you don't exactly have to follow the same rules that I'm following. There's you know, just kind of a a rhythm to my madness, and uh, I try to tr keep to a pattern if as much as I possibly can. I don't like to do anything that just looks out of place or in a random spot like i think that overall um the ship you know has a nice uh, beautiful pattern to it and i want to keep that going as much as i can all right we're looking pretty good i think we've got all our levels filled in 
for our neck, we can add in a couple more windows now. And believe it or not, I mean, just add in a couple of windows here and there subtly. And of course, making sure that you have a light source present somewhere. Um, this is going to be another touch to help uh, helping to bring make your ship look just a little bit more alive. You can see on this level, of course, I did not do the windows on the left. Do not match the windows on the right. They still have the same pattern to them. I just have them slightly shifted over on the other side. We're not really going to be able to add anything on that level. That looks pretty decent. With just a few uh, windows that we have right there, it's going to just slightly pixelate there. I apologize about that. Um, but it doesn't look bad. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so now we're going to work into the last portion of today's episode. We've got a couple more windows we're going to add in on the lower hull. And we're basically going to add it right in between the pinstripe here. Because I believe that's the only other spot that we can fit some windows. And, uh, and have it be in a spot that uh, it's not going to look out of place. So... One level above us is the main engineering decks. We're literally just one level down. You can already see the this is the front part of the pinstripe. We're just going to go behind this in this gray strip here. We're going to cut out a couple of blocks here and there. Nothing more than too wide. Because again, you want to make sure that you're keeping your scale of your ship within a certain size and the windows definitely going to help to sell that. Because now with the windows being just a little bit smaller, it's going to look like maybe the ship is slightly bigger on the inside than it actually is. That's the goal anyway. And see, now I'm not 100% crazy about having these windows right here within the pinstripe. And I'm not set on this. That's why, again, I feel like at some point or another, I'm going to be making one final pass here in the lower hall in the windows. But um, I'm going to mess around with it and see what I want to do. Because, like I said, there's a couple of reasons why I don't have a lot of windows in, this, in these rooms. It just doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense um, when you really look at the grand scheme of things. I mean, think of it like this way. Like, if you look at an aircraft carrier, do they have any windows in the engine room? Absolutely not. That thing is closed in. You don't even have an exact idea of where that's at. So why would they have them on, on, a, on a starship? You know, it just, again, it doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. I mean, artistic wise, yeah, it looks very pretty, but practicality, it doesn't, it's just not there. So 
regardless, we're still going to add in a couple of windows here, but I think we're not going to we're not going to do too much. Even whatever changes I make, I'm going to keep them at a minimum. Now that pattern doesn't look horrible. But still again, I'm not set on that. Because this is just going to be one of those cases where um, we're throwing something down just to see how it looks. Doesn't look bad, but you know what? We'll finish it, let it marinate for a couple of days, and then we'll come back to it and see if there's anything else that I can do with it. But all things considered, just those subtle changes right there, I think the ship has really just so much more come to life now as it feels more like a living or ship that where there's living people on it. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm really happy with the progress that we're making on this thing. I mean, we're really rocking and rolling here. Uh, just going down the checklist of getting more and more things done. And before you know it, we're going to be done with this build. But uh, I do think that's going to wrap up today's video. And uh, I hope that everybody enjoyed this uh, video as much as I've enjoyed making this tutorial series for you. And if you did enjoy today's content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button helping me and supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough for that. And uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for episode 71. In fact, you can always catch new Minecraft videos Tuesdays through Fridays. And you can also catch my new Starship Evo build on Mondays. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up.